Hello everybody, it's Lady B and as always, I have something to say too. I really believe I have an on-time word for these end times. A very familiar scripture that so many of us have quoted. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things. I'm looking because I want to make sure I quote it right. I can do all things through Christ with strengtheneth me. We say this all the time. Well, the majority of us do. I know I can do this because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But have you ever stopped to really think about what Paul was talking about? You know, when Paul wrote this verse, and it actually wasn't a verse, Paul had written a letter to the Philippian church that he hadn't seen in many years. But he had sent this letter to them thanking them for their love and, and their graciousness as, as they were caring for him and sending him financial support while he was in prison. Paul was in prison. Paul was going through a hard ship. We love this scripture. I've heard people use it when it comes to, you know, what my vision is for my life, what my plan is for my life. But, you know, when Paul said that, he was not talking about making sure my life is better. Remember what I said. He is in prison. When he wrote this, he was in prison. And Paul said, I can do all things. <coughs> Excuse me. I can do all things. What was Paul saying? That my God is going to give me the strength the ability to endure being confined, being in these bonds because it's in his will. So I, the Lord woke me up with this this morning. It is supernatural. It's supernatural. We cannot do what God has called us to do on our own. We need the supernatural or the um, something outside of us, something greater than us, something outside of the laws of nature. We need the supernatural God to help us to accomplish what he has called us to do. Oftentimes we are so busy leaning to our own understanding. And so what happens? We get frustrated. We get exhausted. We experience failure because we get a call from God. We get an assignment from God, but then we lean and we look to ourselves. That's not the way we do it. We must realize God, if you God, if you have called me to do this, I must lean fully on you. I think part of this is we have not been taught right because before Paul said that, he said, I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer. Paul said, I understand that there are going to be times when God allows me to have, and there are going to be times when God allows me to lack. But whatever God allows in my, uh, my life, I know God is going to give me the supernatural strength to fulfill his purpose. So if you're a mother, He's going to give you the supernatural ability to be a wonderful God glorifying mother. He's go if you're a father, he's going to give you that supernatural ability to be a God glorifying father. If you are a wife or a husband, he's going to give you that supernatural God glorifying ability to do that through the power of the Holy Spirit. If you are a pastor, or whatever you are, he's going to give you the ability to do that. Now, this is what the Lord also spoke to me. The problem is a lot of times we don't want to do it God's way. We want our way. We don't want to even go to God and ask God to help us. We don't even want to hear God say, I have a particular task for you because that task goes against what we want.
Whenever you find yourself struggling with doing the will of God, you have stepped out of the will of God and you're leaning to the arm of the flesh. You're leaning on yourself. You're leaning to your own wisdom. But if God has called you to something, he's going to give you the supernatural meaning, the Holy Ghost ability. The Holy Ghost will enable you to do whatever it is God has called you to do. It does not matter if you've ever done it before. It doesn't matter if the resources are there. It doesn't matter if you understand it and whatever it is. If God has called you to it, he is going to make it possible for you to do it. He may allow your body to be afflicted. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He may allow you to lose your job. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He may be leading you to go share the gospel with someone. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Oftentimes people say, well, I just got saved and I don't know that much about the Bible. Look, all you have to do is want to be a witness for Jesus Christ. And here I'm going to say it one more time as I close. It's about the want to. If he's called you the supernatural power of God, that Holy Ghost power, that same power that fell on the disciples on the day of Pentecost is the same power that dwells in us when we come to Jesus Christ. It's that same power that will give us the ability to do whatever it is God has purposed in our lives to do. If God's purpose is business for you, he will give you the supernatural ability to be the best businessman or businesswoman that there can be. If he's called you to be a teacher, he will give you the supernatural power, ability to be the best teacher to his glory. But I'm going to say it one more time. We are struggling because we don't want to. We're not ready to submit ourselves to God. And so we say things like, I'm tired. We say things like, I'm hard. We say things like, I don't know what to do. You don't have to know what to do. The Holy Ghost knows what to do. So you say, Holy Ghost, take over. Some people say, Holy Spirit. I'm old school Pentecostal. I say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take over. I don't know how to preach. I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to manage my money. I don't know how to be a good wife. I don't know how to be a good husband. I don't know how to be a good mother. I don't know how to be a good daughter. I don't know how to be a good father, but I do know you know, and you have commanded me to fill in the blank. What has God commanded you to do? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, who enables me, who empowers me. It is no longer me, but it's Christ in me. So whatever you have been called to do, wherever God has placed you, I'm not, every place is not going to be a place of abundance. Everyone goes through a season of lack or struggle or sickness or challenge or the valley of the shadow of death. It doesn't matter. Remember what the psalmist said. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. This supernatural power of God, the Holy Ghost will comfort us, will strengthen us, will guide us, will direct us. But but we have to want to listen to the Holy Spirit. I'm going to say this one more time. We are so full of ourselves that our want to is not lining up with God's will. And that's why we're missing. We're misstepping. That's why we're still having financial problems. And I mean, understand what I'm saying when it's not God's will, financial problems, when it's not God's will, marital problems, when it's not God's will and everything is not the devil. A lot of times it's us. We just keep telling God, no, God says, I want you to go to Philippi and we don't want to go to Philippi. We want to go to Ephesus and you know, all these, these things that we do, I, I want you to go to Texas. I don't want to go to Texas because they don't like 
me in Texas. They don't like my skin color in Texas. They don't like women in Texas. I don't have enough money to afford Texas. But that's not what God told us to do. And so then, therefore, the res the resources and the en enablement are not there because we are refusing to submit our wills to the will of God. So I'm done. Whatever God has called you to do, it's going to be supernatural. The ability, the strength, it's coming through the power of the Holy Ghost. The knowledge and the understanding, it's coming through the Holy Ghost. You cannot do it on your own. You need something supernatural. And that supernatural is the power of God through the Holy Ghost flowing through you so that God will get the glory. Everything has got to be about the glory of God. I don't care if you out gardening in your yard. God, get the glory as I dig these worms in this yard. God, get the glory as I pull these weeds. God, get the glory when I step into this office, into this boardroom, into the bank, into the grocery store. God, get the glory when I get up in the morning to care for my children. God, get the glory when I leave the house to provide for my family. God, get the glory when I stand up to sing or to preach or to te teach in the fellowship of the saints. God, get the glory. And if that that's our heart. I'm submitting my will to you, God. I want you to get the glory. You will experience, I will experience the supernatural, the supernatural empowerment of the Holy Ghost that makes it possible for me to do or to be whoever God has called me to be, whatever God has called me to do. It's supernatural. It is supernatural. You can't do it in your own strength. It's going to be supernatural. And I'm not talking about the wookie stuff. I'm talking about through the power of the Holy Ghost, you and I, we can do and be what God has called us to do and be, regardless of what the situation is. And we can say like Paul, I can we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So you be blessed and you remember what God is saying through this scripture on today, even with the world as we see it, with the war and the inflation and everything else and the job loss and the sickness. Remember Philippians 4, 13, we can do all things, all things through Christ that strengthens us. Remember, because Christ is strengthening us, we can be okay whether we have a lot or whether we have a little because the strength is not mine. The enablement is, is not mine. It's supernatural. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing and subscribing. I pray that this word blesses you and encourages you. I'm praying for you. Please pray for me in Jesus name. Bye-bye.